I have seen individuals encountering challenges who knew that what to do when it was beyond their own experience because they trusted in the Lord and knew that he would guide them to solutions that were urgently required. The Lord has declared, and ye are to be taught from on high, sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be endowed with power that she may give even as I have spoken. The word sanctify yourselves <clears throat> may appear puzzling. Presently once explained to me that you can replace those words with the phrase, keep my commandments. Read that way, the counsel may seem clearer. One must ever be mentally and physically clean and live a pure life, have purity of intent, so that the Lord can inspire one who is obedient to his commandments is trusted of the Lord. That individual has access to his inspiration to know what to do and as needed, the divine power to do it. For spirituality to grow stronger and more available, it must be planted in a righteous environment. Haughtiness, pride, and conceit are like stony ground that will never produce spiritual fruit. Humility is a fertile soil where spirituality grows and produces the fruit of inspiration to know what to do. It gives access to divine power to accomplish what must be done. An individual <coughs> motivated by a desire for praise or recognition will not qualify to be taught by the Spirit. An individual who is arrogant or who lets his emotions influence his decisions will not be powerfully led by the Spirit. When we are acting as instruments in behalf of others, we are more easily inspired than when we think only of ourselves. In the process of helping others, the Lord can piggyback, piggyback directions for our own benefit. Our Heavenly Father did not put us on earth to fail, but to succeed gloriously. It may seem paradoxical, but that is why recognizing answers to prayer can sometimes be very difficult. Sometimes we unwisely, unwisely try to face life by depending on our own experience and capacity. It is much wiser for us to seek through prayer and divine inspiration to know what to do. Our obedience assures that when required, we can qualify for divine power to accomplish an inspired objective. Like many of us, Oliver Cowdery did not recognize the evidence of answers to prayers already given by the Lord to open his and our eyes. This revelation was given through Joseph Smith. Blessed art thou for what thou hast done. For thou hast inquired of me, and behold, as often as thou hast inquired, thou hast received instructions of my spirit. If it had not been so, thou wouldst not have come to the place where thou art at this time. Behold, thou knowest that thou hast inquired of me, and I did enlighten thy mind. And now I tell thee these things, that thou mayest know that thou hast been enlightened by the spirit of truth. If you feel that God has not answered your prayers, ponder these scriptures. Then carefully look for evidence in your own life that he may have already answered you. Two indicators that feeling of prompting comes from God are that it produces peace in your heart and a quiet, warm feeling. 
as you follow the principles I have discussed, you will be prepared to recognize revelation at critical times in your own life. The more closely you follow divine guidance, the greater will be your happiness here and for eternity. Moreover, the more abundant your progress and capacity to serve. I do not understand fully how it is done, but that guidance in your life does not take away your agency. You can make the decisions you choose to make, but remember the disposition to do right brings peace of mind and happiness. Should choices be wrong, they can be rectified through repentance. When its conditions are fully met, the atonement of Jesus Christ, our Savior, provides a release from the demands of justice for the errors made. It is wondrously simple and so incomparably beautiful. As you continue to live righteously, you will always be prompted to know what to do. Sometimes the discovery of what action to take may require significant effort and trust on your part. Yet you will be prompted to know what to do as you meet the conditions for such divine guidance in your life, namely, obedience to the commandments of the Lord, trust in his divine plan of happiness, and the avoidance of anything that is contrary to it. Communication with our Father in heaven is not a trivial matter. It is a sacred privilege. It is based upon eternal, unchanging principles. We receive help from our Father in heaven in response to our faith, obedience, and the proper use of agency. May the Lord inspire you to understand and use the principles that lead to personal revelation and inspiration. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.